This is good. Okay, um, so now these are not in order. Okay. okay. So what I'm gonna do right now is we're gonna go through each scene just to talk about it and, 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 and see locations, and then we'll order which scenes we're going to shoot. Now, conveniently, because there's no couch, I really believe that that actually gives us an opportunity to light more than one scene at a time so things are ready. Do you guys feel like we're not lighting? Like if you watch the trailer, it's like, that's like completely different than this, mm -hmm. though I don't know how lighting I is. But, candles. but my point is, is we're gonna set up the upstairs. It's good, even if you're taking lead on something or you're taking lead, mm -hmm. use each other, because this is what makes us great, is that we have two geniuses behind the fucking cameras today, so this is great. Oh shit, this can be really awesome. Did you see this GoPro, man? Yeah, it's pretty awesome, pretty crazy. Oh, oh, good morning, so you gotta just check the timer, so it says 15 seconds. So I'll just save it for like, when, when everyone's upstairs and I'm like rallying them. Yeah, you just see the butt of it. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, gotcha. I got some mags too. I have a couple too, so whatever it takes. I got some mags. I would like, do they have dummy bullets? Because I'd love to see like, a, like the girls just like loading. We could just use real bullets. Just yeah. load real bullets. But just don't, don't put them in the Yeah. Gun. Well, that would be a different scene. We won't be shooting. Okay. Scene. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I was kidding. Lift up your hands. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now I'm, I'm definitely hot. Uh-oh. 90, 97, 5. 97.1. Nice. Good radio stations. 97.8. Yeah. You are the hottest. 97.5. 97.8. <laughs> 97.7. 97.7. Seven. Woo! 97.7. All right. 96.6, you cold hearted, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but the point is, the scene's gonna come right here. When they come down the steps, we're gonna do that kind of right here, and then it will cut. That way we can continue the scene right here onto that. So those probably need can be together. Okay, a very simple scene. Maybe right over here where we can set up some alcohol and you just shoot somewhere different and just shoot into this wall and they're just kind of standing against the wall. All right, there it is. What's that? What are you about to do? I'm um, about to get ready to start shooting scene one. So that's what's happening. Doing some lighting. Yeah, I think so. Um, it's going to be a little bit hard to light this, but not too bad. Probably going to mount a couple lights up here. Uh, probably going to have a couple lights on um, stands. Uh, just so we can move around quickly because we have like 20 scenes to shoot today. So, don't want to take more than 10 minutes to light each scene, I would say. So, simple, it's easy. Just, I, it's just um, a yeah, shot. that's the plan. Then we'll do the drinking scene because you've got to change to. Hey guys, Ollie here, and this is Nakessa. She's a uh, hair and makeup. And uh, we're just, we got a really dark room. So, we're going to like set it up and yep. they're going to get started for the first scene and get them looking nice and sexy. Hi. I'm Kirsty. I'll be doing things here. My favorite color is green. My favorite band is Guns N' Roses. What else do you want to know? And um, I can help you with any of your makeup. I just uh, only brought minimal stuff. I can use your stuff. Okay. A uh, ping pong table. Like it just it looks redneck. And and they can bring chairs. We're gonna we're gonna literally park cars and and, and turn the and turn the cars so that the lights are all gonna be on. Because all right, so one thing we do at 1307 Productions, we do not like to be sued. So we're kind of a freak on all things safety. So a couple things, uh, me personally, um, I own a couple businesses. So, you know, safety first, especially with a lot of lights, a lot of hot lights, in case anyone hurts themselves. Um, anyone we're working today, it's gonna come in, they're gonna, they're gonna get a temperature check. They need to arrive a mask on. We're gonna socially distance when we can. Um, we have our release forms. We're ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna have a good time, but we're always gonna be safe when we're doing it. All right, and you're good. And you work with Erica, so you guys know what you're doing, so. There we go. There we Film, go. Making a movie. All right, so I'm about to uh, start building the camera. It's gonna be a lot of work, especially with this tight little space that we have. We're all we're all very cramped right now, but got the handheld rig here, got all the camera parts here, got all the lenses right here, and I'm about to start building it. So we'll see how that goes. JC said, do you have this? I said, yes. Do you have this? Yes. So do you have elements? That's what all the stuff was. I love it. <laughs> I love it. So, how are you doing? I can't believe it.
Betty. I'm trying to figure out what to put on first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to give you a... <laughs> so first off, I want to thank my man Gus behind the camera on days one and two. Gus is the man. That is Gus. That is Gus, right? <laughs> That's the only time you're going to see me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we just got to the apartment. Uh, it's really cool. Dean, our main actor uh, playing Robbie, his one of his good friends uh, just got this apartment in Dallas. It's actually a condo. It's a beautiful condo. They haven't even moved in yet. Um, but uh, we just got here. We had one little problem. We don't have a fob key to get up in and down, but our buddy Armando, the assistant director, is taking care of that for us, which is really cool. But I don't think I've ever been on a set that's run this flawlessly already. Everyone was early, not just on time, early. Everyone was prepared. We were already reading all of the scripts. We went through the whole script on time. Uh, I think we're actually ahead of schedule. I'm confused. <laughs> I'm absolutely confused. So one of our challenges is that the condo isn't set up. They don't even have a couch here. Uh, they have no furniture, but we're shooting around it perfectly. And basically I feel like half of my kitchen and living room and half of Ali's is basically all here. We brought in all the food that we're gonna cook for our morning scene. We brought in everything to make the empty fridge look filled. We brought in some of the de decorations from my house. It's pretty cool. Um, so I guess we're all prop masters today and we're all custodial engineers to make sure this place looks golden when we leave. But, uh, oh my God, look over there. We have craft services. Craft services here. <laughs> Thank you to Dank Vodka. This vodka has got terpenes in it that make it taste amazing. It's not a flavored vodka. It has a lemon haze that when you drink this, it doesn't have that ethanol taste. It's beautiful. Dank Vodka, my brother, he's a veteran. He runs it, Trey. Thank you so much for sponsoring us. You'll see this in the big nightclub scenes where the Italian mob, where Maria runs the, Maria Sant, Tony runs the mob. She drinks Dank, so you should too. You can trust me. You can trust him trust because me. he's wearing a backwards hat with I a am. flag on it. And he has a mustache. And I have a mustache, you can trust him. And we story. drink Dank. Hey, hey, what's up? Um, I'm Will and this Thomas. is... Thomas. Yeah, and uh, I'm playing Aaron in the show. And I'm playing Zitto. Yeah, yeah, and we're just like going over our lines right now for, for the scenes that we're, that we're filming today. Here at uh, the, the first day on location of day the, one. the Dallas apartment. Alrighty, so we are currently looking at you hearing the, vo the voice of Gus. Um, the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 6K. It's not much of a pocket camera. Not much of a pocket. Um, so I don't know why they named it that, but uh, it's great for the techie nerds out there. This is a uh, 6K RAW that's coming out of a fairly compact package um, that has the ability to be rigged up like a, you know, a true cinema camera. So it's very diverse. If we need to break it down and put it on a gimbal for some moving shots, we can do that. If you want to be a boss and shoulder rig it like in here, you can do that too. Tell me one size up. The therapist. Ah. Uh, that would be me, guys. Uh, the therapist. I did recently see my slogan or whatever you would call this on um, Instagram. Someone made another one. I was like, you rolling? All right, so we're in the bathroom filming the first bathtub scene, the first scene, which is a bathtub scene. And as you can tell, I've got my lighting rigged up right here couple of um, light bars they look really phenomenal if you bounce them off the ceiling and then we got one back here just kind of backlighting her and I'll show you kind of what that looks like when you turn these on what brand are these um, this is a Kickstarter Lumen 8 um, they were about 400 bucks each but the competitors are around like 1500 each. So. Quasars. Yeah, yeah, you, so you know what I'm talking about, right? Mm -hmm. These are actually waterproof, RGB, tungsten, daylight, and I think those quasars are only like maybe one color temperature. I'm not sure. I saw 1500 and I just moved on. So that's <laughs> it, man. And this is a C200. I'll be shooting a 4K on this 
It shoots raw, Canon raw light internally. This is a really good running gun camera. Um, file sizes aren't too hefty, but you get really good quality out of it. <laughs> she was setting up, she was setting up for this, this moment. This which, which, oh, which back are they in? For these? So this is going to allow the camera to stay real smooth and steady. Alright, for all you uh, film school kids, this is called an apple box and this is not how you use it. <laughs> I think so. I got some sponsors. I got to make sure we kind of show. Yes. <laughs> when gaff tape costs a million dollars, this is what I get. When gaff tape costs so expensive in 2020, this is what I fucking get. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up call directed by Spike Lee. I mean, <laughs> Matthew Chasey. That's right. It rhymed. Jay it was close. Then you, then you have a... Uh... So I figured... I figured I'd put one light like, over here and yeah. shut it out of space. Yes. Look at that. You see if you try to take a real shot. Just say it. Just say it. Just say it. Banana cheers, huh? I'm But let there be light. Soft light. It's sexy. It's soft. You're drinking. You don't want... Well, you do want things hard when you drink. Sometimes at the end of drinking. but. For this, it's just a sexy scene, so we want it nice and soft. So. This is adjustable. You can go from 3600 to 6K, and you don't need to gel it up in the front, but, but we just add a little bit of vellum just to make it soft. Absolutely. So when he says uh, K right there, he's talking about Kelvin, which is your color temperature. Yeah, it's just picture. In my country, later. coffee is like Spain. Yeah, no. Vodka yeah, is yeah. like vodka. I held it down. Blood. So story, hold down story. Actually Blood story. is like. Hold it down. Hallelujah. I got fake chorizo, fake eggs, and fake cheese because plant power, baby. <laughs> Like, no, no, on the bubble on the tripod. <laughs> That's okay. <so funny. laughs> it funny as fuck. Looks like you guys been partying. Yeah. Yeah. Our sets are better than your sets. So what we'll do is we'll already have ice in here. Yeah, yeah. And you're going to be pouring it, but I want to actually see you. I want the scene to start right there. Bingo. Right? Then you pour just some of that in there. Then you shake it, right? When the shaking stops, just like three, uh, let's say one, two, three, four, five, when you stop, as soon as it stops, that's your trigger, you say the first line. He says the first line. Yeah, so then you stop. That way, the, because if you say it while you're shaking, that audio. So I want you to shake, 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 then say your line. If that makes sense. That's perfect. Right. Oh, we got it, we got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the first two But I like that nice, uh, man, this bar is making. Hi, I'm Ken. I just run around and pick up stuff. <laughs> I, I don't know what to say. Are any of your scenes going to be outside? Today, yeah. I mean, do there's you, a balcony scene and then there's... Do you a have a, a mat box thing no. for yourself? No, but we won't need it. More space. It's more okay, natural. more space. As opposed to mine, 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 right? Okay. Good job. Right along, okay? Yeah. Let's just use it. Here we go. We're going to start rolling. All right, so everybody ready? Where's the clapper? The funny thing is, is on a film set, I believe the director can call anything that he wants what he wants. So instead of action, go. Why does that not work? If they know, they know. For example, that's the clapper. Who calls it a slate? It's the clapper. Good stuff. Just a minute. We need, we need two minutes. Two minutes. Nice. All right. 
16, 15. Take two. Back over here. Careful set. And action. Jesus. Right. How many lobs do you have, Jesus? We got two, one, four. Do you have two? Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, how does that feel, Ali? Because I got Aaron's dick in my back and you got his hands on you. Classic film set right here for every guy working his ass off. Yes. There's five people sitting on their ass. Is still on? No. Oh. I'm at. Hey. Close up on their heads. Yeah. That way that gets the wine and this one gets the type. But you'll still get one of their face. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Yeah, absolutely. So we'll get one the main shot, which is our nice wide. Mm -hmm. Two to get the close up of them in the same lines. Three over the shoulder and we'll wait for him. But th they'll end up here. Right. So your last shot. You're I still, gotta be over here. Yeah. Because yeah. you get part of the door. I don't want to reveal this. Okay. So to me, you're like here. Mm -hmm. like, <laughs> Jesus. Quiet on set. So there's eight main lines that you have to get. Yeah. This is basically the gist of what I need you to say. Mm -hmm. But he's going to tell you how you talk about it. Like, yeah. uh, one. Wait for me. Come set. And action. So how does it feel to like, how does it feel to flip How does it feel role? to like, be myself? Um, I don't know, am I still, am I being nice? Yeah. No, 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 you're being nice, you're like sucking up to her. Yeah. Right? So isn't that kind of unusual for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and action. So she can make Actually, lines of coke. Oh, I don't know. And what are we using for coke? <laughs> what are you saying? Powdered milk for coke today. Powdered so, milk for coke. <laughs> sorry, actors, you no, got no, it. No the actors got to yeah. stick to uh, caffeine and uh, coffee. No real coke today. Maybe it's just more pure. She's not cut with so much fucking baby lines. Hey, what's up? I'm Will, and I'm playing Aaron. And, uh,. We're just going over some lines. Okay, hey, I'm Sarah Arteaga, and I'll be per I'll be doing um, Mary Vasquez, the reporter, announcing everybody what's happening. So stay tuned. This is gonna be really cool. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Yeah, pleasure. You'll be next. Where's your? Yes, I have right. not done them yet. Let me do it. Nice to meet you. I want in. Okay. I want in the party. As soon as we're done. As soon as we're done. but having this kind of quiet, dark side that people kind of question, like, like, it's kind of what I'm imagining. Like, I feel very confident in myself, but also... Absolutely. You are, you are, you, yeah. it, you, you, you were trained to not, uh, to not, uh, to not doubt yourself. You were right. trained to trust yourself because when you're behind the, the, the trigger, like, you can't second guess. But I also have this kind of quiet, dark side of maybe... Well, well, let me tell you like, what. Look, you get a little overwhelmed sometimes by some emotions. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's we right. just whenever as soon as you get back, it's like it's like you never left, and and it's the boys back. The boys are back in town. Right. You know? <laughs> yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. 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 We're we're Control we're everything. really like that. Right. Um, okay. You, me, and Zito, Zito, mm -hmm. um, the the other guy. Yeah. We're like the three amigos. <laughs> She's got all the good drugs over here. <laughs> Damn straight. Gotta get emotional. Armando, you're supposed to be acting. You're not supposed to really be drinking. <laughs> In my country, vodka's like butter. This happens every time he drinks vodka. <laughs> I leave I leave the salon to do movie shit and I end up cutting someone's hair. Uh, I cut uh, Dean's hair to lead, uh, lead male actor for a wake-up call. 
So now he got some fresh fade. He's playing a drug dealer. And uh, during the day, he's a nine to five guy in real life doing stock and stuff. So he was very clean shaven. So it's all about two weeks ago. I said, don't shave or cut your hair till you see me. So now he looks a little more rugged, a little more street. So I'm happy with it. This is not you. Okay, perfect. This is the marshal giving the rules of what's going down, okay? But you're all the J's and journalist and Mary, wherever it says that, okay? Okay. You guys are as strange as you could possibly be. Okay. All of a sudden, he shows up at you. Most of the scenes are like this. Is it aggressive? Is my delivery a little bit like, fuck you, or is it like... That's a Matt question. Matt's going to be directing you. You're gonna be up. We're gonna go ahead and do the dad scene now. Okay. And let's knock out the dad scene. Okay. He's gonna knock on the door. He's gonna answer, it, and they're gonna talk back and forth for a minute. I don't know, man. Up to you. What do you think? Where he, you cry because he's dead, and then you in the van. I'm gonna have it off right now. You give me in the van. The van is the one where you're is there like puppies? always puppies. But the you're getting in the van, aren't you? But the van I'm is, uh, the van. you yeah. know, the, um, yeah. hey, Aaron, Bruce, so how is it? Bruce? <laughs> yeah. So she's taking my shirt? Oh, yes, one second. I want to make sure I get everybody on the same page. That was smart. I didn't fuck it up. Do you know how to use these? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. I was able to do sound so good for him because I fucked up with you. So are you adhering to the script? He's just gonna open the door, see me, and then we're gonna be sitting at that table. Yeah, so how do you wanna block this? Okay, they're going to fucking kill you. Yeah. What am I about to shoot? Oh, really? I am about to shoot the intel scene in the van. So we've got this redhead, her name's Katie. We're gonna be shooting her in a scene. She's gonna be on the computer um, giving the guys instruction of where to get the insulin, where to hack into this building. And, you know that whole scene where someone's yeah, yeah, right. for some reason in the van and they have all the information. She's gonna be tra changing street lights and giving them green lights all the way to their destination. All right, what's up, guys? My name is Augustus Minot, and uh, so I'm the behind-the-scenes videographer for this thing. Um, been doing video production stuff for quite some time, with a lot of film work and, and wedding work and music videos, you name it. So um, I'm just here today to capture the magic, you know, and show a little bit of insight. Um. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're, we're just, we're just basically going over the script he's some more. He's everything. He's creative, writer, he's half director, he's coaching me, this, everything. And this is our uh, journalist. She's giving us all the news about uh, the virus that goes down in the story. So uh, we're just kind of... A very serious job for sure. Yeah, 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 she's got a really important job. She uh, fills us in like with little news segments furthering the story along. Uh, even throws in like some trending hashtags and yeah, it's it's pretty dope. Yeah, yeah, cool. Because he's gonna be right here when he opens the door. He's gonna he's doing this right. So of us going into the building, right? Then it comes back to her. I'm getting some weird chatter on my comms. Are you guys hearing that? Okay, just each line is its own line. You don't read them all together. Split up now. Split up now. Oh my God, they're inside. Something more yeah, aggressive. Yeah. You gotta tell them, because that's your boy in there. What the fuck? They're, they're there. You, right. So those are the, so it's one line, two lines, three lines, four lines to get. Now, if you want to bring a computer, do you need a computer? Yeah. So we've been at it since 9 a.m. We've already filmed seven of the 18 scenes we need to do in one day. Now that's rogue production, but we've got two amazing, super talented, award-winning DPs out here, so we're able to split things up. We have two different sound and audios to make sure we can get it. And right now we're a casting crew of near 20 people, day one, that's intense. <laughs> Sprawl, you got a good team? High crush. And action. I've been doing just fine on my own. Yeah. Yep. But right now, this is the pre-scene. So I'm gonna think about this for a second. Where can I put you guys?
Yeah, you got your suit line? Ready. Awesome, perfect. Uh, action. I've been on hold for two hours now. Yeah, they're not taking phone calls anymore. This is shit. If they won't give it to us, then we need to take it. Calm down, Baron. Don't tell me to calm down. Yeah, he's right. Uh, shit, oh, I'm never rest. Uh, <laughs> uh, have a, uh, only two laps and a boom, and then we have the outdoor elements to deal with. So, it'll be, you have to kind of make sure you know who's gonna be lapsed so they can pick the person who doesn't have a mic and get picked up too, and then deal with the elements later. Um, I mean, really, the first shot is just a wide shot, and I'm just gonna be slightly panning to whoever's talking more, and then we're gonna uh, do second, third, fourth takes of close-ups and things, so it, it, it's pretty straightforward. I'm not too worried. I'm not, we're not gonna use any lighting, because I don't need it, so. Is everybody down with some pizzas? There's a pizza place around? So while we're filming this, I can order it. Ken can take care of the food. Everyone knows who Ken is, first off, right? Let's stop for a second. Big Ken. I'm gonna go around the room just real quick. We got Big Ken, he's security. We got Armando, assistant director, is helping out with BTS. This is Will. Will's dad is also the one that owns the ranch out in Wichita Falls. He's an actor, lived in LA for about eight years. Oh yeah. We got Kirstie over here. She's playing Tommy. And then we got Big Aaron right here. His nickname is Jib. No, it's up. He is DP1 as well as Ian over here is DP over two. By the way, Ian is an Emmy award winning DP. <laughs> Over here, Dean is uh, one of our main characters with Robbie. Yep. We got Katie over here, she's playing Chloe. Whitney is over there, she's playing Blaze. She will be spinning fire and eating fire at the bonfire scene. Thank she is best friends with yes. Chloe. Sarah over there is playing our journalist. She becomes the second love interest to Robbie, which pisses off Maria, who's Erica. Yeah. Uh, Erica no, is uh, the mob boss of the Santini, uh, Santini family. Over okay. here, we've got Thomas. Thomas is playing Zito. He's our Native American native who knows everything about cigars. <laughs> here we've got Justin. Justin is playing our character Kyle, who ends up dying. He is dating Chloe. Their kid needs insulin. Don't get the insulin, but they do what he does. Oh. <laughs> and yes. uh, Nega Ali over here, I'm right now. Oh, yeah. And Ali over here, they've been with me since 2003 and 2011 doing all my runway shows. She's helping with hair and makeup. Ali is doing um, everything. On. This everything. is going to take uh, five Literally minutes. everything. He has <laughs> literally gone out and bought all of our craft services yeah. for the next seven days. He is amazing. He's doing lighting, yeah, gaffing, yeah. BTS. Yeah. And, and you can trust him because he has a mustache. He's right, baby. That's awesome. That's our team. Where's Gus? Gus is right here. He is filming. He's the director of his own documentary about us being idiots. Awesome. Everyone gets ready. What, what I need to have happen right now. Yeah, so, so this scene is uh, we all wake up from like a massive bender. And uh, we're all uh, gathered around the dinner table. And uh, we wake up and the virus has just been announced. We turn on the news. One of the characters, he comes and he says, he says, turn on the news. And then we go, what channel? And he goes, it doesn't matter. Because it's everywhere. Every news station is playing this, what we're watching. The virus just hit. And we are, it, it's the reveal scene. What is going on in there? <laughs> he's, he's like, he's rolling up the paper. Let's try it again one more time. <laughs> All right, whatever. Yeah, yeah, okay, just, we'll wait till he's Ollie's done. done. He's done. Okay, start it over. We, uh, we just had like a massive party bender. And uh, we're all waking up, we're all around the dinner table, and it's just all of our reactions to the virus hitting. Oh, 
this way because my camera is going to be right here. Uh, <laughs> Let's go back to one. Here we go. Action. Look at them and then I roll. Okay. Mm -hmm. That worked. It doesn't matter. It's better. Wake up call scene seven, take ten. Perfect. All right, guys, give me scared. Give me scared. Hold on, stop. Go back to one. <laughs> so hold on. Wake up call scene ten, take one. Call scene ten, take two. Shorten that pause, step in first, and then touch and say, I think you should do it. So this is our only sex scene in the whole movie. <laughs> hey. Hey. And a new character arrives. I am the character. <laughs> <laughs> I met my best friend today, and she's awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. We can bounce off each other. One thing Matthew JC can do, it's cast a role, because <laughs> we were instant best friends. <laughs> so this works out pretty well. <laughs> Yeah, we can cry together already. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The the emotional thing was a little scary at first, but I don't know. It just kind of it kind of flows and it kind of works, and we play off each other. So I I, I don't think you could have picked two better people for these roles. <laughs> I laugh until I cry. A lot of laughter because uh, that's what makes her cry, and uh, a lot of me standing in the corner going, <sighs> trying to get my eyes to turn red. <laughs> from this side, because I'm seeing all that. It was the longest, hardest day of what our seven day shoot's gonna be. We just captured 17 scenes. We started setting up at nine o'clock, started shooting at 12 o'clock. We're now wrapping up, actually we have, we're in currently state, one more scene here to finish up and one more scene out in the car, but basically it's a wrap and it, wow. The team that we have, when you talk about Rogue, the trick of going rogue and being successful is to have passionate people. This is one of the first times on set I was able to just do one thing and focus, where everyone else did one thing and focus, and it was amazing. You can't do it without a team. It says it takes a tribe. That's right, it takes a tribe. 1307 came together today, and it was amazing. Road to Netflix, coming for you.